artist friends, are you ready to draw something great? Today I'm going to teach you how to draw a toucan in the rainforest. I recently did this with the students at my elementary school and we had such a great time. Today you can draw with a pencil or a pen or crayons or anything you'd like. We drew on black paper with oil pastels and it really showed up great. But any materials that you have at home are going to work. And just remember that, just follow along, we're going to draw one line and one shape at a time. If you need to push the space bar to pause, you can do that and catch up. And I think you're going to be great at this and love it. So let's get started. Okay, so for our toucan, the most important part is the beak. We want it to really be the, the star of the show. So I'm going to start right here in the middle of my paper, and I'm just going to draw a line that goes out, and I'm going to curve and come back in. Now I'm going to curve this part right here where it comes into the face, like that. Okay, now a toucan has a really, really large beak because their beak and their body are so big, they have to balance on a branch and then that beak's supposed to reach across and get a berry so that they can re get berries where it's too heavy. Um, they wouldn't be able to sit there. So that's why they have that big beak. And it has to open and shut, so we need to do a little line. And they also have some, a little ridge right here so that they can bite off some things. So I'm going to do a bumpy line and then a straight line. Okay, the next part is the top of the head. Now their head's pretty flat. It's really close to their beak, so we're not going to go up very high. We're just going to do a curved line right here. And I'm going to come down for the neck. Okay, are you with me? All right, now let's draw another line about the same length as this one. And then we're going to draw a curved line across. Okay, now the body's very easy because we're drawing this toucan um, sitting on a branch. So the wings are kind of tucked in. So all we need to do is curve down one side and now curve down on the other side. Okay, now we're going to add the eye and a couple of the details. And these are all just going to be round and curved shapes. So let's put the eye right here. Okay, and I'm going to draw the inside of the eye too. Now, this is a really important part. I've noticed with my students at school that um, if we don't make the eye dark enough, the whole animal or the person just kind of floats away. We really have to make that middle pupil dark on whatever animal you're drawing. So make sure to color that in. Now we're just going to add another shape right here. And this just gives you opportunity to add some different colors. Toucans are usually black and white and sometimes their tummies are white, but today you get to color your toucan whatever color you want. Okay, let's work down here for a minute. Let's draw a couple of round shapes like U's across the neck and it will look like feathers. Okay, there we go. All right, he's starting to look good here. Okay, now let's draw his feet so that we can put this branch in and then we'll add a couple more details. So for his feet, he just has, um, you know, like talons and they're grabbing onto the branch. So it's just going to be a curved line. So we're just going to go like this. One, down, up. And we're going to do three for each foot. Down, up. And I'm curving as I'm going down. Down, up. Okay, and now let's do three over here. One, two, three. Okay. Now, let's add a little bit of, I'd like to just do some curved lines right here so that we know those wings are tucked in and then you can do something else on the tummy. And if you want to, you can add more details. You can add V's. V's end up looking like feathers. So you could do that on the wings here. And then if you wanted to do any more designs here, like even stripes or something, you could, just to, just to add some fun unique elements. Okay, also on their beak, I love the stripes on their beak. And they're not exactly straight, so let's just make them a little bit wiggly, okay? We're going to start from the top, and I'm just going to wiggle down to the bottom, and then I'm going to draw another line right next to that, and now I have a stripe. So I'm going to give a little space and do that again. I think I'll do about three, but you can do however many you want. And remember, as you're drawing and following these lesson plans, Draw your first one and see what you think. Maybe you're going to love it, but maybe you'll think, oh, I don't like this or this part. Draw it again and see how, how much better you get every time you draw. So you can always do the first one as practice if you want. Okay, all we need is a branch and some great foliage for the rainforest. We're going to start over here on this side of the paper, and I'm just drawing a curved line, but I'm going to make sure that it goes behind the feet. Okay, so I'm starting here, and I'm just going to go behind the feet. 
because he's over the top of them. This is called overlapping. So I draw what's in the front first and then what's in the back. Okay, now watch this little trick. As I come up, I'm just gonna open up my line here. Okay, so right now there's just a curve line, but let's turn it into a branch. We're gonna take another line and I'm gonna follow the first one. And you can make it a little bumpy because wood's never all the way flat. Now, here's the trick. When I get to here, I'm gonna open this line up. So you can see that I've almost made a Y and then the trick for the tree is to put a V shape right here. And now we've got a branch. Okay, now one more step to make this really look like a branch is just some wiggly lines to add texture. Okay, so I'm just going to do a couple lines. Some of them are curved. Some of them are wavy. And this will make it look like a tree. Okay, now let's just add some tail feathers. If you ran out of room, you don't have to put the tail on. But if you have room, let's just go like this. One, two, three, four. Just nice big U shapes. And you can color those however you want. All right, so your toucan is done, your branch is done, and now it's just time for just a few little details. Let's add some of those berries because that's what we know they're reaching for. So if I just draw a line up, here, and I just draw some circles, and I can put some circles next to each other like this. Then it looks like he can reach for some berries. Let me show you just a few easy rainforest leaves. In the rainforest, there is every kind of plant and leaf you can imagine. This leaf is the easiest. Watch me again as I just go up and back down. Now, to make this leaf really cool, if we put a straight line through it like this, and then a V, all of a sudden, we have a really interesting leaf. We can also draw, this one was my student's favorite. We can draw a line that curls in like this, and then we can draw some little leaves off to the side. So just curve. Each time I'm just doing a curve. And as I get closer to here, I'm gonna get a little bit smaller. Okay, now let's try the exact same thing on this side and we'll be ready to color. There, that looks good. All right, let's, I'm just gonna throw in another leaf here. Put my line down it. Maybe another leaf here, down, up, down, up, and put a line. And I think we're ready to call this one done. Okay, so I hope you had fun doing the toucan. Remember that you are a great artist. Keep drawing and I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me, goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel for weekly guided drawing updates and videos and also tips and tricks for parents and educators so that you can help your youngest artist become a great artist. Also, follow Great Artist Mom on all social media. Thanks for watching, bye.